Hi guys, I wanted to give you a status on indexing with my sites, how it's going, because I know there's a lot of trouble around the blogging community with Google indexing issues. It's been so for a while now. And I did a video a month ago, I think, or two about me not really having any issues with indexing. So most of my articles getting straight into Google. So I guess I was kind of lucky. Um, there were a few sites that I didn't check. If you've been following my channel here for a while, maybe you remember that around a year ago, I created three new sites just to sit on the shelf in case I wanted to start a new site eventually, then I would be able to take those sites and just continue building them instead of starting all over. So I started these three sites and just put like 10 articles on each. And I just looked at them recently to see if they were indexed because I didn't pay any attention to them. As I said, they were just sitting on the shelf. So one of them had everything indexed and actually got a good deal of traffic. It was already up to almost a thousand page views a month. And one of the other ones had some issues, like nothing was happening. It was totally dead in the water. So I did have some indexing issues after all, it, it turned out. So I went into Google Search Console, of course. It's the first thing I, you would always do if you have indexing issues and you use that daily quota, the 10 articles that you can ping Google in Search Console and tell them, please index these. You know, you just go to that search bar at the top, enter the URL, hit enter and ask them to index it if it's not in the index. So I did that and that managed to get all these articles indexed and immediately I saw an uptick. Like now a week later, it's growing and there's actually quite a lot of page views on it already. So when you do that, the articles will be completely fresh in Google. They don't, uh, what can you say, benefit from having sat on your site. So from the day they get indexed, that's the first day they start ranking. And from that day on, it might be eight, or 10 or who knows how many months before you see any traffic. Just so you know, it's not like it'll rank faster from sitting unindexed on your site. As Carl uh, Broadbent also mentioned, he has some fantastic videos about this. Uh, if you haven't seen them, check them out. So I'm trying now to get pretty structured around checking whether my articles are indexed or not. And I've found a little service. It's a French website called isindexed.com where you can enter the URL or the domain name of your sites and it'll crawl the whole site or actually you have to feed it a list of all the URLs and then it will check whether these articles are live on Google or not. And the way they do this is very similar to you manually seeing if each article is in Google by checking uh, Google by searching maybe a phrase, maybe the title and see if it turns up there on Google. So it's a pretty decent way to do it. And that's the way I would do it manually. And since I have so many articles, I just wanted to have a good process around this and use some software to do it for me. But there's no way you couldn't do this manually. You don't have to pay for this service. So I used it now for a couple of weeks. I think it's pretty cool. It's easy to work with. And I just jugged all my sites in there and it will check them for me. So every month I take the new URLs per site. I add them until each profile you can say. So whenever there are some articles that are not indexed, I'll just take them into Search Console, ping Search Console and see if they will not get indexed that way. So that has worked pretty well for me so far. I'm trying to get a little more structure around it, as I said. So every day I try to use that daily quota of 10 articles I can submit in Search Console because there are articles that do not end up in the search results. Mainly those are newer articles. Sometimes there's articles that just never got indexed and I really want to catch those so I don't waste my money on articles that never get a chance in Google. So, so far I haven't had any issues with indexing that I couldn't solve with this pinging search console feature. If you do have issues, if you cannot get your articles on Google, check out the videos that Carl Broadbent has around this. He's using this API method that I think is pretty cool. And I also have another really good technical SEO friend here in Denmark who's doing the same thing. So there, there's some caveats. It's around that this tool is made, all this process is mainly used for job sites, but 
I know a lot of folks now that have used this API method to get the articles indexed rather quickly without any problems. So I'll have a link in the description to call it a video around this because I think it's really helpful. And I would say if I had a site that didn't get indexed after me pinging Google in Search Console with the URLs and asking them manually to index it, if I did have some issues after doing that, I would turn to this process, even though there could be some caveats. I mean, if your articles are not on Google after you even ping them in Search Console, you have nothing to lose. So why not use this process? Now that I sit here and edit this video, something comes to mind. I've been thinking about why I think Google has these ongoing indexing issues and I talked with a good friend about it and I think it is because during COVID during the last one and a half year we've seen a lot more traffic overall in Google and just on the web in general e-commerce sites having way more traffic and blocks of course and if you think about it if let's say we added 20% more traffic over the last couple of years in Google that's a big extra load on their servers. And as a good uh, guy in my community pointed out, Google does not have unlimited sources. As I've been saying in an old video, that's not true. They are a company that needs to make a profit and they are accountable to investors and such. So they cannot just have a lot of extra service sitting around waiting for traffic spikes like we saw over the last couple of years. So if we think about this, that we had so much more traffic, it makes sense to think that Google just couldn't keep up with all the traffic and really cannot get around to all the sites with the crawlers and index it. So that said, when you think about it this way, I think over the next half year or so, if we are so lucky to get rid of COVID, I think things will go back to normal. I really, really hope so. And I think we can say goodbye to these indexing issues. And um, I just wanted to put that in here to give some sort of overall perspective of what I think about these ongoing indexing issues. That said, I'm ramping up my team right now. I've been hiring a lot of new writers. I think I added eight or nine new writers to my team over the last couple of weeks. So it's a pretty exciting time for me to just crank out a lot more content. And um, I'm really excited about that. So I'll probably post some videos soon about upscaling my team of writers and the whole editing process, how that looks now that I'm going from around 80 to 100 articles per week to probably 250 articles, uh, uh, sorry, per month, around 100 articles per month to around 250 articles per month. So I'm really excited about that. I'll definitely have something to share with you around that process. And I hope to see you soon. Have a good one. <music>